and teachers have gone above and beyond this year. Many say it is their duty and they enjoy being able to work with young minds. For one teacher in Brenham, her road to education wasn't the easiest, but it was worth it. Wanda Smith and her class at Brenham Elementary are preparing for winter break in the next school semester. Well, I'm gonna sit down and do These last couple of months have been unusual, to say the least. This year has been the most challenging year of my career ever. Challenging or not, Miss Smith's students and colleagues still have nothing but praise for the first grade teacher. Miss Smith is absolutely amazing. She truly exemplifies the words of dedication and desire. And what's your favorite thing about having Miss Smith as your teacher? Uh, that she teaches us. Yeah. That she's very, very awesome. Miss Smith has been a teacher for the last 10 years, all within Brenham ISD, a school district she herself went to growing up. I am a Brennamite through and through. I think I bleed green. I've been in Brenham all my life. Miss Smith says her interest in becoming an educator started while she was going to school in Brenham ISD. I liked playing with all the kids in the neighborhood and I was the teacher. So I like telling people what to do. After high school, she did not immediately start school for teaching because of family matters. However, she was still working in the school district, just performing other jobs. I was a custodian for Brenham ISD. I was a bus monitor for Brenham ISD. Then I was a paraprofessional on high school level in life skills for Brenham ISD. While she was working at the high school level, a situation occurred where she suddenly had to take the lead of a classroom. They just kind of said, well, Wanda, you can do this. And I was like, oh, okay. Miss Smith soon realized she was performing all the jobs and responsibilities of a lead teacher just without the pay. That moment inspired her to go get her teaching degree. Well, I actually went back to school after being out 20 years. And was that something? Hmm. She ran into a couple of obstacles getting situated back in being a student because she was out so long. But she never gave up. If you show me how, I can do it. After nine years in school and dealing with a lot of different personal matters, she finally got her certification to be a teacher. Now I'm here at the same school that I cleaned. Miss Smith constantly uses her story as a motivator for her students. I tell them they can be anything. They can be anything they want. The one word that they cannot say in this room is can't. I can't do it. But her message isn't just for her students. It's for everyone. I just want people to know you can do whatever you want to do. You just got to have that will to do it. Miss Smith says her favorite part of her job is being there for her students.